When you think of it, if you've got a crankshaft that's turning 12 or 14,000 maximum RPM, how do you translate that into turning an impeller at 128,000 or 140,000 RPM? That little impeller there is about 70 millimeters in diameter and yet it's turning so fast that its outer edge is moving at 1500 feet a second. Well, you gear it up. There's a shaft behind the crankshaft driven from it by gears and there's a chain with its own chain tensioner here driving this shaft and it then passes into this drum-like arrangement with fine herringbone gears in it which is a planetary step-up drive and all of this material is lubricated by oil jets to make sure that nothing runs dry at that rather considerable RPM and then the impeller shaft itself runs on ceramic ball bearings so that when you blip the throttle the impeller shaft which has been idling along at a mere 12 or 15,000 RPM suddenly pew, goes up by a factor of 10 in RPM and I'm hoping that there's some springy element in the drive that can accommodate that sudden application of force. They're very proud of this thing. One of the things that they're most proud of, but which they've almost said nothing about, is how they keep an engine making this much power from detonating or knocking. And that is essentially, in our era of electronic spark control and electronic fuel injection, just a software matter. And they say that they have layers of detonation control in this engine. And I'm hoping in the days and weeks to come that they'll actually tell us about it, because I think it's going to be very interesting.